silliest film, but admitted that he had some affection for it because it seemed to echo his own earlier work. Though he wasn't referring to the time machine, but to his 1910 novel, The Sleeper Awakes, which described a contemporary who falls asleep and awakes in the year 2100, where an oppressive plutocracy in a dystopian London faces a worker revolt, much as in Longstone. In both that novel and Wells' earlier story, A Story of the Days to Come in 1897, he anticipated many of the aspects of urban life that we've already seen in these later science fiction works. The urbanization described in the story of the days to come at first looks a lot like Victorian London. The cities were horribly inconvenient, darkened by smoky fogs, insanitary and noisy. But by 2013 in the story, all the cityways, all the public squares and places were covered in with a recently invented glass-like substance. The roofing of London became practically continuous as skyscrapers rose higher and higher and life in individual houses was steadily supplanted by life in interminable hotels. But the class divisions remain intact or even worse. The prosperous people lived in a vast series of sumptuous hotels in the upper stories and halls of the